Hello, I'm Ivan Porter, a nephrologist. Today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about food. We often talk about too much food or the food that we do eat, but let's not forget about food that we don't have to eat. Food insecurity or a lack of good access to nutritional foods affects over 40 million Americans. Six million of those are kids and adolescents. And that matters because we know that a lack of quality nutrition leads to high blood pressure even in children. And then we know that children that have high blood pressure are more likely to have high blood pressure as adults. And those issues with high blood pressure are more likely to lead to issues with our heart and kidney health as we age as well. As we identify food insecurity as a contributor to health disparities, we have to focus on increasing access to good nutritious food options as it will benefit our population. The African American population suffers the highest prevalence of any group for high blood pressure. 41% versus 27% of its Caucasian counterparts. Multiple factors, including our activity level, our environmental factors, our socioeconomic factors, all these play a huge role in the diet. We also have to think about the traditional southern diet as this also plays a role in high rates of high blood pressure. Higher saturated fats, higher added sugars, higher sodium, all of these things lead to increases in weight and increases in blood pressure. And let's not forget the added calories that we consume in our beverages. Um, the added sugars and empty calories that we get from the sweet tea or the colas that we drink with our foods also increase our weight and increase blood pressure and lead to more problems in the long run. The more we can do to educate our population to eat healthier and eat more appropriately, and more importantly, to balance the intake, what we are eating, with the output, the activity that we're doing, the healthier we can be at a popu at, excuse me, the healthier we can be as a population and reduce these rates of hypertension as a whole. Thanks.